question 41. The area of the trapezium in no is 22 centimeter cube. What is the value of x? Hmm. All right. It's 22 centimeter cube. What's the value of x? Now. If it's 22, all of this is 7, the height is 4. Let's figure out some way that we could um, get this without calculation first. Alright, what I'll do is go on to use calculation. The trapezium, there's a formula for the area of a trapezium, but let's not try to remember it now. Let's derive it. With a triangle, you say the area is the height 4 times. Now we don't have one specific number here to use. If you multiply the 4 by 7, the answer would be too big. If you multiply it by x, it would be too small. So what you do is find the average of 7 and x. So you find x plus 7 over 2 or half of 7 times x. So that will be the area. The height times, you find a compromise between these two, 7, not times x, plus x, 7 plus x over 2, and that gives you 22. So, 2 into 2, 1, 24, 2. 2 times x plus 7 is 22. Divide both sides by 2, x plus 7 is 11, and then subtract, and you get x is 11 minus 7 gives you 4. So c, 41c, let's look at 42, 42 says, uh, let me erase what's happening here. For the two says if two x minus one minus three x is six, what is x? Then x equals so it's two times x gives you two x, two times negative one gives you negative two minus three x is equal to six x is together 2x minus 3x minus 2 is 6 2x minus 3x is what? negative that's negative 1 x that's negative x minus 2 gives you 6 but you add 2 to both sides negative x is equal to 6 and 2 8 so it's negative 8. So 42 is A. Let's look at 43 and then we see what the answers are. Question 43. Let's erase these rough work. Question 43. Which of the relation is represented by the graph? All right. What you could do is say y is equal to mx plus c. What is m? The gradient. The rise is 2 and the run is 4. So 2 over 4 which is half. x plus c. The y-intercept is negative 2. If you multiply <coughs> everything by 2 so you don't have any fractions. You have 2y is equal to 1x minus 2 2 is 4 see that then <coughs> you subtract y and add 4 and equate to 0 so it's 2y minus I mean you subtract x minus x is equal to negative 4 and you have 2y minus x add 4 and you're going to get plus 4 is equal to 0 so 
2y minus x plus 4. 2y minus x plus 4 is equal to 0. I would say 43 is d. Let's see what these say now. 41c, 42a, 43d. Right. Now, let's look at 44. Question 44. Let's erase these and go to 44. Well, the four says uh, the exterior angles and the interior angles of a polygon are equal. How many sides does the polygon have? Hmm. No, both the exterior and interior angles are equal. Now, to get an idea what they're talking about, if it were a rectangle, then this and this would be equal, which is not the case. If we had this case, the interior angle and the exterior angle, well, it seems like B, 44 B, 44 is B, right? Because the interior angle and the exterior angles are indeed equal in this case. Let's look at 45. And as you see that I'm doing five questions in each video all right we'd have to zoom out to see this question to see all of this question we zoom out which which of the following shapes is a square pyramid okay now it means the base is square now remember the difference between the pyramid and the prism. The pyramid, just like the Egyptian pyramid, it has a point at the top. The prism, if you do physics and you use the glass prism to separate the colors in sunlight, it has a sharp edge instead of a point. So here, this is a prism, not a pyramid. So C is out. It's not C. D is a pyramid, but the base, as you can see here, is not a square, it's a triangle. This is a triangular pyramid. So, let's see what else is here. Let's see what else is here. This is not a pyramid nor a prism. This is look like a cube. So, the answer would be A. You can see the base. Is square and it's a pyramid because it has a point at the top so 45 is a all right okay so what we're going to do is just pause there and continue next time